Welcome. So today I'll show you just a bit of a customization for the phone that I personally like to use. And uh, this is completely out to preference, but I'll be using Smart Launcher for this. I already have it downloaded. And uh, the reason why I picked this launcher over like some other ones is strictly for uh, one of the features which I adore, which is when you go into their apps, like the app tray, you have everything in categories. Now they get automatically sorted. Sometimes it's a little bit iffy in the sorting process, but for the most part, it's accurate. And if you have the pro license, you also can like do additional stuff, for instance, uh, reposition them. Sometimes I would call this uh, a little bit um, annoying that you would need to have a pro license for, for this to be able to, for instance, like uh, do something like this. Ah, as you can see, sorting. Uh, do you want to use a custom order for your icons? Yes. Uh, for some reason, it gives me load order. Now, the reason why it is doing this is because uh, this uh, launcher was uh, transferred from my Mate 20 Pro, which still has Google Play services. And uh, I have the Pro license on there, but because I don't have access to Google services, so I can't download it from Play Store here, I just decided to transfer it along with the license. It's just easier for me this way. But anyway, uh, this is just a stock look of it. I haven't changed anything here. So this is uh, using the uh, Smart Launcher 6, which actually was released not too long ago. And uh, I'm going to customize it a little bit uh, just to fit my needs uh, or what I like to have it. So you can customize it by holding your finger and it will bring up this overlay right here. And we have a couple things like um, number one, let's actually set it up to be the default launcher. There we go. So when I go home, it actually goes here. So let's go back here. And number one, I'm going to reposition the uh, pages. As you can see, middle is a home. And then if you uh, swipe up, we have up page, uh, search page, uh, search page down, news page uh, to the left. And then um, there's nothing to the right, apparently. Anyway, stop right here. And let's see, I'm gonna just uh, search page. I'm just gonna get rid of this up page. I'm gonna move over here. News page, I'm gonna get rid of it because. All oh, right, I don't think it's gonna work here. Or is it? <laughs> yep, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, so I'm gonna, I guess, stick with the news page instead. Mm, there we go. I would, I would like to, in an ultimately like better situation, use uh, Google instead. But because again, that's Huawei, uh, we don't have access to it. So uh, last thing I want to add is the uh, swipe up for a search page. There we go. Let's apply. So we swipe up for search, uh, we have apps, and then we have the um, news feed. Now, the reason why I didn't assign anything for swipe down is because I'm gonna do this. We can navigate into gestures, and we can then add a, where is it? I believe it's a hotkey. For some reason I have this. Okay, let's go hotkey, nope. No, that's not what I want. Oh, there we go, that's what I want. Single finger, and then we have single finger swipe down, uh, LS shortcut, and I'm gonna select to have a notification. So, I show status bar, show notification panel, there we go. Now, actually, I'm not exactly sure how this, how well this will work because we do have the notification panel divided into two sections. We have the uh, toggles and we have the uh, notifications. So, so it looks like we get the uh, notifications itself. So for toggles, you need to actually still swipe up from the top. But for notifications, you can quickly swipe up here. So there we go. Um, so that's part of it. Now, I like my icons. Um, a little bit differently organized and uh, this would take a little bit too much time because I'm gonna quickly bring my phone that I use this on on like in this kind of way so uh, as you can see we have uh, five icons at the bottom 
a row and then at the top one we have four but they're not spaced basically as they would be normally so uh, normally you would have rows so there would be four icons would be right above each one of these but as you can see these ones are still spaced out evenly on the second row uh, the reason this takes too much time is because this is a widget now now before it wasn't a widget it was just like the um, how the smart launcher was organizing apps and now if you want to have this you would need to select add widget go to uh, groups and select grid this would allow you to have it like it but like i mentioned this would take a little bit too much time to go through it so i'm just going to keep it as it is and additionally last thing that i like to do apart from uh, changing just the icons uh, themselves to have a little bit more minimalistic look as you've seen on my phone uh, would be to have a double tabs so as an example if you have things like a uh, browser right here you can click on it once uh, now if you you just install this it will ask you what kind of search you want to use uh, this, this asks you for basically every kind of app uh, same goes for contacts if you have multiple messages uh, if you have multiple music we, go, we have a couple to choose from uh, what else we got we don't have a dialer here so that's kind of weird uh, so yeah anyway uh, when you hold the icon uh, it gives you just a couple of browser options right here where I can tap on the settings and we can select a double tap which allows you to choose another application from here now the way i actually have it set up would be with browser and double tap for youtube uh, unfortunately we don't have youtube here so let's see do i still have installed nope i do not so let's quickly change that by going in here and downloading probably something that you might actually enjoy which is youtube vans Allow install. Unavailable. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I need to download this first. Okay. And from here, we should be able to, yep, there we go, install Vans. So this is just as a quick also solution, I guess, to uh, YouTube needs. Uh, obviously, um, YouTube might not be very happy about this, but boy, don't I actually care. Um, this application, I really actually like it. It obviously is kind of uh, counterproductive to creators because it does remove ads. Uh, which they kind of live off of those but uh, let's be honest uh, youtube recently has been uh, a little bit too eager with the ads when you get spent with double ads two minutes later you get another double ads which you can't skip so after that uh, we're getting rid of them and now we can actually do this where you hold the browser and then select double top you can scroll all the way down to youtube advanced and now we have double ops so single click opens up browser double opens up youtube and voila as you can see there is our youtube um i didn't need to install any kind of services or anything like that it just works uh, famous words of todd howards so uh, you can do that for every app for the double tap now i will be honest this i believe is only limited to uh, the pro users which purchase the the app the app also has a free version uh, which is a little bit limited uh, it's obviously just a typical launcher but it's missing a lot of the pro features which is if we go into here and scroll down we can see uh, premium uh, smart launcher pro so we have the effects so we have cosmetic effects we have wallpaper effects and we have advanced uh, adaptive icons which is just a shape and uh, just how the icons can look have a smart screen off a kind of garbage uh, function where it just locks the device when it uh, when it's being laid down but it sometimes kind of misinterprets it when it's laying down if you uh, if you're for instance an advocate user of uh, restroom uh, phone usage and you're sitting there and you hold a phone like this it will lock it because it thinks it's on a table 
And then we have Ultra Immersive Mode, which uh, just kind of removes the buttons. If you're using gestures, that's um, kind of useless anyway. Uh, we have AMOLED backgrounds, we have additional categories that you can create, we have uh, customized icon sorting, like I showed you before. Uh, we have off page notifications, uh, double finger swipes for like some widgets, uh, more customizations, um, a folder, and this is actually an interesting one. Now, this is a pop up widgets, which actually is a kind of a neat little thing. So, as an example, if I'm gonna pick right here music. There we go, I guess Huawei Music. You can hold it, select the double. Get out of my face, there we go. You can uh, hold it and then we can select... Are you serious, Huawei? We should be able to actually have the option to add a widget to it, but we kind of don't for some reason. Let's see this. And there we go. So it's under double top and we have, there we go, pop up widget. And we get crashed. Great. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, this is a moved over op, so it has some problems. And in normal circumstances, it should work quite simple. Uh, as you see, like this, you have double top and then you select pop up widget and choose your widget from here. Uh, now, obviously, the best course for something like a music player would be to add, obviously, a widget for the music player. So you just double tap it and it will pop up a temporary widget which you could interact with and then you can just tap somewhere else on the screen and it will disappear. Really neat. Uh, also keeps your screen fairly minimalistic and also gives you access to things that you normally wouldn't have. So that's primarily all the things. Uh, I don't really like the search bar so I'm gonna quickly get rid of it if I can remember where it is located. So actually I know how to get rid of it. They changed it, so there we go. It's easy now. Uh, obviously, you can also change the position of the icons. Home screen, icon appearance. So here we have uh, just the shapes of icons. You can obviously go through a lot of these settings uh, and it's all up to preference, which one you prefer. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would just normally move those down just so it looks a little bit cleaner uh, to remove that missing space at the bottom now and lastly i'll change the wallpaper which uh also another cool feature you can just go into wallpapers and it randomly generates wallpapers from a couple different uh applications like uh wally now uh, we have uh, photos we have uh, abstract so we have a couple categories and then we have also other pictures which allows you to actually access your album uh but these do refresh uh, and it shows you some randomized options. So if I close this and reopen it again, you'll see that there are now new wallpapers. And you can simply choose whichever one you want from here, uh, whichever tickles you, uh, your pickle right here. Let's see, anything looking cool? There we go, I'm gonna pick this. It looks nice, so here we go. So there's our new wallpaper. Now, at the end of the day, I would probably be looking for a look like I have right here. So I'm gonna bring my phone for this. So that is basically how I have it set up. Uh, again, I have my apps uh, the same way as here. So when you swipe up uh, or swipe to the side, we have apps. Uh, swipe up, we have the, uh, the search panel, which allows you to search for apps along with actually showing you uh, recent apps. So apps that you use on a daily basis along with them being sorted in a time uh, kind of like the AI sorting where it defines what apps you use at what time and then gives you those apps uh, at the similar time. It shows you as a recommended app and also it shows you contacts. Now I'm not going to show it right here because obviously I would basically dox my uh, people that I have right here. Oh, but yeah. And uh, when I swipe from the left side, I would have my Google uh, search bar. So as you can see there is my Google which actually functions here normally because this still had services. Now here you'd be locked into uh, the, I guess the launcher's uh, search engine. I don't even know what it's using to be honest. But yeah, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, one additional thing that you can probably change right here that you uh, everybody might like that actually likes customization would be the icons themselves. You can have uh, different icons for your home screen and different icons for the, uh, for the actual like app, uh, app page 
So if I kind of, let me just quickly see. So as an example, if I swipe uh, here, you can see that, that those apps are completely different, uh, different style than what I have right here. So you can install kind of some kind of apps from the store and just mix and match them. And additionally, if you don't like how these apps look like, you can even hold those and we can then select, which one is it? Edit icon and you can choose any kind of icon. So you can just completely go nuts here and customize icons to your liking, each one having a different uh, icon pack. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the world is your oyster or the launcher, I guess, is your oyster. So yeah. Uh, Personally, this is my favorite launcher. Uh, that's kind of why I did the video about this one. Uh, there are other launchers, but to be completely fair um, and just super blunt, <clears throat> this function right here with the app categories is my bread and butter. That's what I really like here, having my apps categorized into different uh, well, categories, obviously, and have them easily accessible and not have them in a huge uh, list of just apps that are alphabetically sorted so that's one of the key reasons why i, why I use this launcher and additionally uh, the use for double taps like this is just outstanding so that's kind of what i utilize this as you can see i have for instance things like music right here and then when i double top it it opens up spotify instead so there we go i there's this as simple as it gets i just love this launcher and the customization obviously uh, is here too. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.